Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Libra. Someone here is watching, stalking, and spying on your connections a lot. This person has literally fallen from grace. They've fallen off a cliff themselves from constantly trying to watch you. This person is for sure facing heavy, heavy judgment here. And what you have is a brand new passionate beginning. Um, this chariot card is in the reverse. Okay. The temperance card is here and the sun. And this is this is like the energy of someone. This is possibly like a divine masculine, could be male or female, take it however it resonates. But with this chariot card here in the in the reverse, we are in cancer season. Cancer could be um significant i'm getting cancer leo aries gemini heavy fire energy scorpionic energy as well um this is somebody though who is being revealed to a person for sure as a hidden enemy this could be a divine masculine who's finding out that someone around them has been a hidden enemy this also could be a distorted a very karmic masculine who has been working with um a distorted um karmic feminine who um, I don't know if these people were teaming up together trying to sabotage something for a divine feminine possibly or this could be a masculine who does not know that perhaps a wife, the mother of their children or even like their mother, a mother figure, mother-in-law or whomever that this person has literally been behind the scenes trying to destroy their life. However, or, or whatever the situation is, though, someone is for sure facing judgment. With the judgment, though, if you are this divine feminine or masculine who has moved away from this situation and your spiritual team has kept you protected and safe, you have a very beautiful new offer coming. Okay, the Queen of Cups is here with his Page of Cups and the Sun. For some of you, somebody has definitely been trying to somehow... Um, block all of your fertility they could even be doing womb magic trying to make sure that you do not have children or that you have issues with children now this came out the other day with the page of cups here in the reverse and i had that message it was a very strong message i said someone's children are not safe okay there could be a person who has been trying to do a bunch of magic because they're trying to cover up the paternity of a child whatever this is though there's a child here and it definitely could be a male child this child is not safe i feel like for some of you someone has done something towards you and it could have everything to do with your womb your fertility some of you um uh, trigger warning but you could have even lost a child or be dealing with some type of um infertility right now because of the magic or spell work that someone has done i said three days ago and i'm telling you again now somebody's spiritual team is not playing they're willing to take somebody's child it's eye for an eye and like i said it is no coincidence that that snake today out at the lake literally was a snake and i'm telling you you can look at the picture closely on my community tab the snake had at least four to five babies so whoever this person is could have four or five children of their own one of those children most likely does not believe to the person um i'm sorry i said believe does not belong to the person that they are claiming is the father and in all of their efforts to sabotage the life of a divine feminine, especially if they've been doing death magic and fertility magic or anything like that, they're going to pay for this. And unfortunately, they may pay by, um, by way of their own child. Yeah, this person here has been watching you. When I see the page of swords out here with this magician card, someone, look. Leo energy strength card in the reverse. Whatever this person sent out is this um, spiritual attack, demonic attack um, to hurt or harm this divine feminine or masculine, whatever or whoever they did this to, it is definitely backfiring. The chariot is here in the reverse. This goes back to that group of people that I, I always um, pick up in the readings, these different gang stalkers. They're watching you. They're tracking you, monitoring you in these cars but they're also trying to cause these free act freak accidents where you know all of a sudden your car will flip over and it'll just seem like you you left this realm from natural um natural causes or a freak accident no this is the kind of stuff that these people have been doing behind the scenes some of you could have actually had a car accident and it wasn't it, it, it probably was a freak accident and it's because of the spell work that these people have been doing in the background okay yeah but somebody here is about to cash, they're about to cash out on all of their karmic debt. They're about to cash, cash in, cash out, and death is exactly what they will face. Heavy Scorpio energy here, but this Scorpio energy is, it's an ending, it's a death. Somebody here came up against an earth angel. Look at this, earth angel, 
the lover's card. The lovers is out here twice. So someone here has a brand new contract, I feel. I feel like for some of you, um, this emperor, look, this emperor. So it is, it's this emperor and this Leo. Aries and Leo could be heavily aspected in someone's chart. Yeah, this person here could be a Leo feminine or someone Aries, definitely fire sign energy. This person is probably scared. Or about to experience like a, a major ending. Something very painful, very devastating. I hate to put the message out, but that's what it is. But this person, they had no problems with going out, trying to ruin the life of this divine feminine. Somebody should have just left well enough alone. Um, and this was all to keep a massive... Look, there's divine feminine. And this king of wands is like, wait a minute, what? Once again, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. This king of wands could actually be a woman, okay? But you have out here the Aries card being the emperor and the Leo card. So this could be a fire sign couple. They're very karmic. These people came together through um, their sexual relationship. They probably got had children together, decided to stay together. This karmic feminine, though, decided that she was going to constantly trying to ruin the life of this divine feminine because perhaps this divine feminine was at some point connected to this masculine. Divine feminine, though, it appears to be have... Um, have a brand new contract here elsewhere. You have the lovers out here twice and you have the temperance out here twice. Th this connection, that's not, it, literally what I'm getting is like someone tried to destroy the life of a divine feminine over a masculine and that masculine is not even this divine feminine's actual counterpart. So you try to take somebody out to cause them a, 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 a physical death with the use of spell work for a man that they're not even supposed to be with. You're absolutely going to pay for that. Or maybe this divine feminine masculine were supposed to be together. They won't be together now. You can't be with somebody that knowing that they tried to have you murdered. Look, this, the, look, God said, no, no, no. This cherry here won't be stopped. This person, whoever you are, or whoever this relates to, they little someone here has literally escaped death. Because, once again, Queen of Wands, this Queen of Wands was in the background. I'm telling you, this person, this could actually be three people. You have a Queen of Wands out here. There could be a Scorpio out here, a Taurus, a Cancer. They all could be in on this situation somehow. This is for sure a group effort of some sort. This is a few people who came together trying to keep up with some type of facade a lie because of um, lies told about a masculine money and children. There's a few people who came together and decided that they were going to get rid of this divine feminine. It didn't work. Those, all of those dead um, eggs in that snake car, that's either this group of people, which could be at least three to five, maybe even more people, or this is someone here who has that number of children. However, it resonates. Could be both. Somebody here could have three to five children and they've been working in a group with three to five other adults to try to take out a divine feminine but divine feminine you've escaped this your chariot is still on all four wheels moving forward god has spoken and said that now he's going to put a death to this queen of wands very clear very straightforward it is what it is yep the full card queen of cups and the king of cups is here and it, it switched out in the reverse this king of cups though is not in the reverse um, Spirit is telling me to hold it upright. This King of Cups here, for some of you, this could be someone that is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or they have that heavily aspected in their chart. Possibly this um, masculine that we've been picking up. Now, I also want to say, too, because there is a masculine that has been coming out in the readings lately. This person shows up as a mask, as a, fi a female, it seems, but this person could actually be a man. Someone here is cloaking and switching their energy. If you know anything at all about shapeshifters, the Jezebel spirit, incubus, succubus like spirits, the, the gender tends to change. It's a shape-shifting energy. So when it wants to be a, um, seen as a feminine, it cloaks itself as such. Okay. So whoever this person is that has done this, this could be a man or a woman. It comes out in the readings as a woman, but there's something very tricky about this energy. This could actually be a man. Okay, and it's also very confusing because it's a man and a woman. This is a karmic couple that decided to go against a divine feminine together. And they both could have fire heavily aspected in their chart along with Taurus and Scorpio.
And someone has cancer in their energy as well. Cancer in their chart. But see, Divine Feminine now, you, you've been freed from whatever this situation is. I'm literally getting where somebody thought that they was going to set something up, especially for this holiday weekend. And because I had a reading last week, like, I don't know if somebody tried to catfish you. They tried to cause you to have a car accident. Um, they did something. And I mean, I, I feel like they went all in with whatever they did and it failed. This will result in, for, for many people, this will result in for sure, like, I'm getting life in, in prison or an actual physical death. If not both. Because there is more than one person involved here. You have two knights. Yeah, justice. Wow. Justice for the divine feminine. You have this knight of swords out here and this knight of wands. Someone rushed in ready for battle. And I feel like Divine Feminine, either you call for karmic justice to be served or your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors that constantly go to war for you. They was like, Psh, blow the horn, blow the whistle. You gonna, you gonna flip who over in a car? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. You gonna do what to a high priestess? Oh, okay. Yeah, like, like the high priestess didn't see you. Yeah, okay. All right. Somebody here is delusional, full of illusions. This person is a, a total fool for doing this. I mean, completely. <laughs> like I said, they could have done this before, but the fool here like this, this person just jumped to their own death, it looks like. So that's how they're going to be feeling. Knight of Cups. And I had that channel last week where I heard somebody was just constantly yelling, why can't it be me? Why couldn't it be me? This is someone that's for sure going to be hurt. Judgment. The star. You get to call judgment on this situation and have justice as a star because someone here kept on coming into your energy, possibly actual traveling or projecting. Somebody wanted to see you up close and personal um, in the spirit realm energetically. They were doing this at night. But again, here, it's like you have Archangel Michael out here and your spiritual team that's allowing you to see far, far beyond the veil so you can sense this danger before it even gets to you. It's so funny because you would just be surprised how God will have you to reroute or how you will be redirected when people do this kind of stuff to you. They don't understand that nothing that they do is going to work. The wheel is moving for you and it is completely wrecked for this person. There's karmic justice being served for sure. There, This king of pentacles person out here um, that comes out in this reading constantly, this heavy earth energy this person has been kicked out of a divine feminist energy forever like they can never come back into this person's energy because i don't care what kind of spell work or illusions this person was under or what they chose to participate in once they sold their soul but working with this karmic feminine to go against this divine feminine just cost this person this karmic feminine or possibly their children or someone close to them their life sure did you know, these people could be married, but they don't want you married. They don't want you married. They don't want you to move forward. They want to destroy everything in your life. It all backfired. Mm. Baby, that snake was out there. Burnt up. The snake and the baby ran over. Burnt up. Burnt by the sun. The sun energy. Leo. Could be a Leo for sure. Snake. To Leviathan energy. Oh, nasty, slick, sly, just dirty, cunning, evil, deceitful. Ugh, gross. When you see dead snakes, they usually speaks of danger, but it also speaks of the end of a very tough cycle. Courthouse, yeah, these people could have had an old courthouse marriage or something like that, or there. It's a common law situation. They've been out here scheming and scamming against people. Mature woman, mature woman and privileged lady. This could be a woman here who has learned some type of form, um, dark magic or something from her mother. And in order for them to be more privileged, if they decided to go against this divine feminine, working with this masculine. And this masculine, he went along with all of this. So, yeah, false person. Look at her in red. 8 August. This, part, this is a Leo. August 6th, August 10th, August 12th could be of significance. August 23rd, August 28th. Yeah, somebody's on their pathway. And you have for number five, the mature man. 
going once again. This King of Pentacles, Hierophant person could be a Taurus. This person here was trying to steal someone's energy and spiritual path and journey so that they could receive unexpected income and a great fortune. It's not going to happen their way. This person here, karmic justice is going to be served. This person will be in despair. They're going to lose everything. They will face poverty, okay? And when this person is kicked out of your energy for good and possibly facing life in prison, you will have sudden wealth and this um, new beginning that was promised to you. In the distant horizons, you have marriage and the lovers. You have a new contract. Your true divine counterpart is here. And this person rushed in to try to block this because these are people who have been harvesting off of your energy and they were quickly met with this power. Yeah, this person um, rushed in because of what this karmic feminine told them about you. This person lied. So somebody literally tried to take your life or destroy your life based off of a lie. Mm. That's terrible. To practically, to possibly lose your life because you attack someone all off a lie. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy, right? It's real crazy. But Archangel Michael has your front, your back, your side, your front, all of that. And your spiritual gifts are constantly being amplified. So whatever they try to do, it always backfires. But they, they have quite the plan because... They needed to, you know, with this full moon in Capricorn, a lot of people are doing these sacrificial rituals. They're trying to make offerings to the devil. They thought they was going to offer you up to get your contract. Yeah, that was a heck no. That didn't work out. Evil eye. These people are saying to use an evil eye. Copycat. Somebody here, like I said, their energy energy harvesting. They wanted to live their life as if they were you. This is somebody who definitely got into a connection with a masculine that some of you divine feminists was once in a relationship with. They got in a relationship with this person and thought that they were going to become you. And they made up lies about you to cover up lies about themselves. They lied to this masculine so that this masculine will also spiritually attack you. And they both did this together. My very first channeled message was about the false twin flame and the karmic. And I made a reference to a snake being on the ground and an eagle. And I said in that reading, this reading is probably close to two years old. But I said, whatever is happening, especially with these shape-shifting energies and these people utilizing familiars or whatever, what this person is trying to do with you, something is going to change in your energy where they won't be allowed to do it. If you are a snake, when an eagle comes in, an eagle can take a snake off the ground. The, the nature of, of whatever beast is, is, is within you, this person, or working for you, or this person, something here, it was not able to survive. Your energy is too pure. That's why I've been saying lately, with the full moon, let's not worry so much about what they're doing in the background. Worry more about cleansing, purifying, and protecting yourself because what's meant to happen is going to happen. And somebody here, what's going to happen for sure is somebody's going to lose their life. Rel Look, you can relax and clear your mind. It doesn't matter. This, this is over. For somebody else, yeah, someone's actions have caught up to them. This is completely over. Trust me, these people are going to be very, very busy. Very busy. Possibly making funeral arrangements at this point. They're going to be very busy. They won't have time to, to cast a spell on you and they won't have a dime to do it. Halloween. Something could be significant about Halloween. Libra season could be significant. Could have been a full moon in Libra where somebody was doing this. This person could have Libra in their chart. Halloween though, also for me, looking at this card, somebody has definitely been playing around with spirits. A person could have the gift of mediumship and they've been using it for all the wrong reasons. This person has been tapping and playing around with dark spirits and they've gotten caught up. Yep. And now they are completely bound to the situation. They are feeling very much bound to this situation. These people like to do these rituals around the holidays, Halloween and Christmas. You know, when people are traveling, going out of town, taking road trips. Oh, wow. All of a sudden your car flips over and it just looks like you were on a vacation and your car flipped over. No, it's because they're doing black magic. And at this point, whatever they get, they deserve it. I'm sorry, guys. One second. Yeah, these people are constantly trying to gather information 
and they've been traveling that's another thing too these people they like to do this when they're traveling i'm also sensing too um with this karmic couple one of them when the other one is out of town they're going out of town doing magic this masculine could be going out of town meeting up with people doing magic on this divine feminine but when this masculine is away from home with this family and this karmic she's at home doing spell work too they both are doing spell work i don't know if they do it together or not but they're both doing spell work on this divine feminine and it's all going to backfire this these people i'm telling you their entire house is going to fall down self-reflection take a moment to reflect this is crazy it's so like clear though so let me know yeah purify your energy New Year's, romantic thoughts, and then here you have it, Thanksgiving. So New Year's, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween. It's something about these holidays. Again, ho when you think about holidays, you guys, I don't know why people love to do rituals around holidays and stuff like that. But when I think holidays, again, it's something about travel. People traveling, um, people eating drinking so that's when you see people poisoning individual all kinds of stuff Th these people are very crafty they plan this stuff but they're at a fork in the road now that there's nowhere else they can go because the tarot readings is not telling them what they need to know they're bound to these situations completely yeah your money is going to improve cash flow here these people will be arrested and you're going to be manifesting something new a new job a new contract blockages and obstacles these people are going to have blockages and obstacles. They won't be able to level up anymore because they won't have any more access to your energy. This is definitely some weird energy harvesting-like situation. These people have been manifesting off of you. Yeah, somebody here betrayed you, and they like to use their childhood trauma as an excuse. It's so many reasons where I picked up on this person or this energy. These are people who come together and because of their childhood trauma... Um, possibly the lack of something that they had during childhood. They go out and spiritually attack people for wealth. People who just live by doing magic. Black magic is how they have survived in the world. Somebody could be into the stock market or investments. Male relative. Yeah. Chilling, spending time. Paradise. Yeah, somebody here is going on vacation. Saying that they're going on vacation with a male relative, their bro, or something like that. Somebody that they possibly do stocks or, or um, investments with. Also, while somebody is traveling. Ooh, wow. Because this male relative may not be a blood relative. While this masculine has been going to paradise, going to the beach, traveling. Whoever this karmic feminine is, this person has been hanging out with this man's friend or brother. They spend time together, sleep together, and they've made a child together that they've been lying about. Yep. You have here the ex and then an ex. So you have an ex. Okay. Could be male or female or both. They are puzzled right now about what to do. Somebody could be a doctor or someone needs to see a doctor. Somebody definitely could be on their way um, to the ER. Or this will happen, same-sex relationship. Somebody here is just very promiscuous as well. This person is having, doing stuff with somebody's friends, the same sex, just a lot. Celebration, honeymoon phase, and ghosted. I feel like you ghosted these people when you realize the kind of stuff that they were into. These people were testing the waters, doing all kinds of stuff. Once you realize that certain people were into a, a lifestyle where they were hacking, backstabbing people, going out, celebrating participating in same-sex relationships you know nothing wrong with it if, if you're into that but somebody here i feel like their lifestyle was just something that you could not deal with you didn't want to deal with it you got out of this situation okay because the storm a storm is brewing card is here illness and thinking and contemplating i'm assuming that some of you you felt like you know by testing the waters of playing around with fire like this you could really get burned these are people who go on vacation. They do different things for popularity or fame, or they like to do stuff with performers or, you know, it's just a dark lifestyle here. I feel like you got away from these people. You ghosted them. You moved on and they decided to betray you. They tried to, um, step, yeah, moving on. They tried to sabotage you in your life in some way, but they took it too far because whoever this person is, 
they they had a lie that they were trying so hard to cover up. They told a lie on you that put you in a lot of danger. And this is really bad because who knows if you and this person, if this is an ex-lover, if you were actually meant to be with this person. But whatever this lie is, it made this person go out and try to destroy you. For some of you, literally, like, put a hit out to to hurt you. Um, and if you were sent by the Most High to help this person, love this person, have a life with this person or whatever, they will pay. They, they will pay um, for what they've done to you because I don't care what kind of spell work or illusions that you're under. When a divine being, an earth angel comes to you, if you're not in a low vibrational energy, you should be able to recognize, you should be able to snap out of spell work or anything else. So I don't, I don't have any kind of sympathy or empathy for a person that will go out there and listen to a lie and you decide that you're going to try to literally have someone scraped off the face of the planet because of your baby mama, like get out of here or your mother or whomever. I don't care. Your bro, your sis, it don't matter. But these people, they're going to learn real soon. When they ran over and burnt up by the sun, they gonna learn. I just, I just keep saying this scene in John Wick when the guys like, yeah, make the arrangements. Baba Yaga, Baba Yaga, the boogeyman. Yeah, you know, somebody didn't know that they was, they was eventually gonna wake up the beast inside of a person, or someone had so much divine protection. It's like fire alarms go off every time you even think about doing something to certain people. Something significant about fire. I mean, very significant about fire. I don't know if this somebody is a fire sign. There could be a, a house fire. But I'm just constantly burnt by this snake that I saw was literally burnt by the sun. Okay. Something here about the element of fire. I don't know if somebody's been doing a bunch of fire magic. It's going to backfire. Secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. Wow. Putting negative thoughts in your head, causing drama and fights in your love connections and friendships. Masculine hater. Hmm. Evil omens sending you in. Wow. Sending you insects, blackbirds, snakes, and rats. We just saw the snake today. Causing you to feel paranoid and to live in fear. And these people want you to be afraid. And you may be sensing fear because they're doing things. They want to flip your car over. They want you scared in your house because they're sending dark spirits and stuff to your house. Your closest friends hold grudges against you. Wow. <laughs> what did I just say? Sending dark spirits to your house. This card literally says sending you dark spirits, demons to work against or to trick you. Lots of familiars and um, monitoring spirits. These people use these familiars to go out and do their dirty work with their astral traveling and projecting. Secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. That, that came out again. And then you have here feminine hater. So somebody here could also be very upset that someone has a divine partnership. And they've just been sending you the e but they took it too far with this black magic. They either did themselves or they paid for it or all of the above. They went entirely too far because it's a major backfire. Jealous of the attention that you receive from others. And it says here your ex is preying on the downfall of, you, of your new love interest. They can't stand to see you shine. Always going against you by arguing their point. Never consider of your point of view. A family member is hating on you. Some of you have a lot of people in your energy hating on you. Okay, and unfortunately, they worked with these people or all of these things are being revealed to you from multiple people in your energy. But you have your scorn, love, an old fling of your current partner or your recent ex-partner is feeling rejected and betrayed. Yep, and it says here to practice a... Um, Return to sender. So some of you, you did a return to sender, and I'm assuming it worked. Because somebody's going to be burnt up by the sun and ran over. <laughs> I 
I want to look at these cards real quick because I'm not even going to stay here long. I just want to see. Yeah, somebody rushed in to try to sacrifice somebody. They backfired. Somebody sitting around now like, uh-oh, what are we going to do now? Because they targeted you or someone that you know. They sure did. This has something to do for sure with like a car. You have here the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. No more burdens. No more worries. It's all coming to an end. Ace of Pentacles. Brand new. Beautiful offer. All coming to an end. Death card. When one door closes, another opens. The star is here and the devil. Full moon in Capricorn. You defeated the devil completely as above, so below. What these people did to you and the spirits who try to take you out is going to now manifest in the physical. And it's going to hit them, not you. Anything else? Yeah, Six of Swords. Your spiritual team is taking you on the peaceful, calmer waters. You escape this. You escape being sacrificed. Possibly for money or by your family. These are people from your past who have been living off of your energy. Look at that. Five of Swords. Seven of Swords. The whole plan, plot, scheme, strategy, or whatever, it backfired. And they will go to jail. And you'll get to walk away with mental clarity, peace about exactly who deceived you and for a lot of you it was a masculine this masculine is pretending they're they're trying to come out like they are a um a woman in these readings but it's not just it's not just this mess this masculine is not working alone yeah five of cups here that taurus again tower taurus hierophant scorpio the tower the wheel of fortune though yeah, this person came at you and I feel like either you protected yourself or your spiritual team. They they in up your protection a great deal. So whatever this person or however they tried to come towards you with another spiritual attack to sacrifice you, this person was trying to sacrifice you up to the devil, their master. It backfired. It really did. It backfired. And see, if you have this karmic feminine doing something to you for some of you, it's because of this masculine this masculine and this this woman that they are with or who they were with they are the root of all the evil in your life the majority of it. somebody told a lie somebody believed it and they started doing black magic and other things wow i feel bad though because i promise it's gonna be an innocent person that's going to pay the consequences of these actions. Temperance and the Hierophant. Wow. The Temperance and the Hierophant out here. This is... This is... This is um, forgiveness. It says, obtains friendship and favor of the great. Regains the favor of those one has offended. And then here is the lovers. Wow. So this is this is a, a lover. Somebody is trying to manifest you now that you walked away. You know, it's it's crazy, but this person who could be responsible for a lot of this stuff, um, because they've allowed this person to watch you, stalk you, hack you, or they've told somebody so much information about you. For them to pretty much create their own case file to attack you. This person is sorry for what they've done. But, you know, every time I read this energy. Sorry cannot change the fact that you put somebody in danger to pretty much lose their life. Um, a sorry just can't fix that. I'm sorry. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, four of cups. The six of wands. Nine of wands. It's so much paranoia here. Ace of Pentacles, but the Temperance, the Ace of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Lovers, that's major. There's a major shift in energy. And for some of you, this is someone brand new that's either um, coming into your life or you have someone new in your life. Yeah, the Six of Swords. Wow, the Six of Swords and then the Emperor is here. For some of you, you know, this could be this person coming in, telling you what happened behind the scenes, apologizing. It's up to you if you choose to deal with that person or not. But for some of you... Your actual counterpart is coming in now that this 
situation is over. The Six of Swords. This is like, again, your spirit guides, your angels, they're moving you on a peaceful, calm waters. They want you to return to a, a, a gentle, peaceful state of being. And, and also the Six of Swords is movement, it's travel. You have, some of you really need to be pray, praying for your, your traveling grace and mercy because something was being sent out to happen to you while you were traveling or someone traveled towards you with a plan to hurt you or to harm you in some way. It was absolutely done. It just didn't work. The Emperor is here and the Lovers. Yeah, I feel, again, you guys, you have a new person coming in. The Hierophant and the Four of Cups. You're healing. The Four of Cups is, you know, it's like God presenting you with something and you feeling bored, discontent, nearly about to miss an opportunity. That's really what these people did all of this for. They was hoping that you would miss an opportunity. If you were hurt, harmed, in jail, the hospital, or whatever, then you would not receive this offer. The offer is still, it's coming in. It's coming in stronger than it was going to come in before. It's very strong. The Ace of Pentacles is out here. It's a divine blessing. And this is a divine blessing. This Ace of Pentacles is coming from this temperance energy, temperance hierophant. This is like an earth angel that you're in a divine connection with or that you will be in a divine connection with. This union, it drives away all evil spirits. That's the reason why, and I've been saying this for months, these people do not want you guys in these divine unions because none of their spell work or anything else is going to work. Your energy is going to be like upgraded in such a way that nothing that they've done to harvest your energy or manipulate your energy, feed off of it or whatever, it will not work. And apparently that has already taken place with a lot of you because what they've done, it has already failed. So they know that something has changed in your energy. It could be the integration of um, a counterpart or you just have healed something within yourself. No. Baby, I'm done with this. You see masculine energy, feminine energy. You're already in union with your actual counterpart. What these karmics have tried to do, it cannot, it, it won't work. It'll never work now. New beginnings. Baby, you are going home. This little, it's all good. Movement into balance, self-love, teaching and retreat, y'all. Wow. Let's pull a spirit message. And that'll be that. Because, yeah, this is for sure over. Somebody was trying to block you from a spiritual upgrade or meeting a person. It has already happened. Somebody is somebody somewhere is watching you. You have your strength. Your strength is bringing you great luck. Good luck. Good fortune. Favor. Passion. Spirit guide. Yeah. And you have a spirit guide that is very passionate. Or you guys, you yourselves, you're like a spirit guide. You're very passionate about the work that you do. Um, the healing work that you do, possibly. Okay, someone, you have a spirit guide that is very passionate about protecting you, though, because of your ability to heal and how you are healing. So this could be like a past on loved one, an angel, an ancestor. Someone is protecting you because of what you've already done for your bloodline and what they um, what they see you doing in the future. So they, they're not going to allow anything to happen to you. Nothing is going to happen to you. you. You have a purpose. These karmics, they're contracted, you know, and they're contracted to torment you and, and try to leave you traumatized. It didn't work, so they're no longer needed. It's like the devil is like, ha, 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 I got you. No longer need your services. You tried to sacrifice somebody that we always knew you couldn't sacrifice, so let me just feast off of you now, you know? <laughs> That's how that goes. Like, duh. People don't read the fine print. They just go sign the contracts to sell their soul. Yeah, look. The goal here was for somebody to get some kind of help. Somebody was expecting you to have mercy on them. No. You sent whatever they sent out, you sent it back. 
whoever this is that's been hiding in your energy, they thought you would have some kind of mercy on them. That's why they keep cloaking themselves. And like I said for you guys, I keep picking up this woman, but they're, they're, this woman, she's not acting alone. This is a couple. They did this together. And, they, and somebody here will face death. You can stay calm in this situation. You live and you learn. Yep. Idea. Somebody here is going to learn the hard way about overindulging in things. Overindulging for sure in spell work. Yeah, conflict here. Conflict. Someone's probably going to have conflict with this friend, this family member that's been in the background stabbing them in the back and convince them to go and try to sacrifice somebody. It's all, listen, what, this, this whole plan is just, it's over and done. You can go dance a jig because they can't do anything to you. And I feel like God is truly about to make it. So you're going to know, like, these people cannot touch you. Somebody's going to have to go to jail or hell or both. You're an earth angel. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Your third eye chakra. <laughs> Indigo, you are like um, a powerful light worker. Shield yourself. Yep, and throat chakra. Speak up, speak out. You have integrity and they don't. It is safe for you to see the energy of love um, in all of its forms. And let me say this, and I, I want to, um, I'm probably going to do another reading on this, more of a spiritual guidance reading. But I don't want to save it this is just a message of advice for people who are going through situations like this there's a lot of illusions right now be careful because you see this ace of pentacles temperance hierophant lovers there's something beautiful it's already in your life and it's going to the next level or it's about to come into your life Know the difference between these people who are, like I said, have been contracted. They are agents of the devil and they're from the kingdom of darkness. They've been assigned to torment you versus the people who are coming into your life because they, um, they too have been assigned, but for the right reasons. Some people are trying to attach these cords to you or they have attached themselves to the, the cords of sins and iniquities from your past before you became who you are or even from things that's in your bloodline, your lineage, your ancestry. Make sure you are detaching and still allowing yourself to allow good people to come into your life. Right here, while in the midst of all this craziness happening, the most beautiful and perhaps the biggest blessing of your life is happening too. Do not be distracted by this. These people are going to get exactly what they're supposed to get, which is their karma. You also are going to receive karma. There's good karma. There's bad karma. What you put out is what you will get back. Okay. But don't be tricked or deceived into thinking that you're in some kind of illusion because you once had any type of attachment to these people. You were assigned as karma for them. Just as they were assigned. And that's why I keep saying too, a lot of people who constantly, the, the twin flames, and da, da, da. I'm not a twin flame expert at all. And everybody has their own beliefs about it. But you better be really, really careful not to go out here thinking that these demonic people are your, your actual twin flame, the person that God has truly sent for you. You do not have to be judged condemned convicted and nearly crucified by people who don't even have the power to do that and then turn around and at the end call it love and say it's a twin flame journey there's a lot of people who will come into your life and they will teach you so much about yourself don't ever underestimate just regular soulmates and never ever will they leave you forsake you hurt you put you in in harm's way or danger that is not necessary for you to heal Stop falling for the belief that a person has to drag you through the pits of hell for you to learn a lesson. Becoming a divine feminine or masculine, becoming someone ready for a divine union is you first going into union within yourself. 
healing your divine energy, uh, feminine energy, and healing your divine masculine energy so that you can become a vibrational match for another person who has first come into unity with themselves. Someone who understands the alchemy of their own soul before they go trying to mix it and match it with someone else's. Because a lot of you are under the impression that when people say yin and yang, one is dark, one is light, that that means that somebody is flat out demonic and they can come over here and, and destroy you as an earth angel. No, that's not what that means. Nobody's going to convince me that, that God is going to make somebody stay in a situation with someone that is literally pulling them away from God and their purpose. And the only way you've convinced yourself that you can grow is if you go through pure hell. That's not true. People have amazing parents, mentors that teach them things. Growing pains is normal. Being triggered by constructive criticism is normal, but you do not have to allow somebody to torment you. And, and in this case, flat out put your life in danger. I don't care what reader or who told you that you're supposed to stick beside these people, but you better be careful. Because how can you ever sleep in the bed or walk around the house or ride in the car with somebody not knowing what their actual intentions are for you. A person who can listen to someone tell them a lie about you to the point that they will put a hit out on your life or have you in freak accidents over a lie should never be able to have access to you. If they get closer to God and change their life, good for them. That does not mean that you have to be in their life. You need to be the karma that you've been assigned to be in that person's life. And that's it. That's all. Because this, this is wrong on so many different levels. Because when I used to do personal readings, I can't tell you how many women came to me telling me that they have actually had to have surgical procedures done because of the black magic that had been done on their womb. Do you guys not understand that black magic, and it's very real. So, I feel like today to see this coming out and to have seen that snake, the people who are receiving their karma, they deserve every bit of what they're getting back because they've gone out and, and there are some people out here who are literally trying to conceive and they've lost multiple children because you got a bitter baby mama or a bitter broken ex or a jealous friend or family member in the background that's doing black magic, trying to literally destroy a person's life. It's eye for eye, tooth for tooth. It's not fair and the scales are being balanced. And the reason why this is happening now is because someone is finally realizing that you need to stop having mercy for the dark soul of these people who have been sent from the, from the pits of hell to destroy you. Stop having mercy for these people. You can ask God to have mercy for them as he always will, but it's not your job to keep protecting these people. Because the main people that I'm telling you, 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 you're praying for the devil. The main people that you're trying to protect and you're calling twin flames, friends, family, soulmates, and lovers are the people that's having secret meetings and trying to make sure that you get flipped over in a car over a holiday weekend. And that's just the truth. For some of you, this, this could be past energy, but you're getting clarity about it now and you're being vindicated now. This could have been something that happened years ago, but you're going to be vindicated for it now because the death is here because everyone's mask is falling off. You guys, these people, I'm telling you, the goal for some of you also, they've done love spells and other things, especially if this is a past lover. These people are going so far as to do all of this stuff and, this, and then they do love spells hoping that they can somehow summon you in and get back in your energy to make you have some kind of heartfelt emotions. For the last three days, maybe even longer, I've been telling you, get rid of those pictures and those text messages and different stuff in your phone because these love spells will have you sitting around reflecting on the past, feeling nostalgic. That's, that way, 
when you when you should be returning something to its sender, instead you're sitting around looking googly eyed with rose colored glasses on, thinking about this person that's trying to set you up. These people are very clever and tricky. That's what they are. They're dark spirits. Or they work with dark spirits to trick you. Do not be confused or deceived by this. You're much more powerful and, and, and too strong to keep letting this stuff happen. These people, yeah, you should receive, you should be vindicated. You should finally have an opportunity to be restored, redeemed. While they get exactly what they need, which is a timeout, a long one, a permanent one.